There's some massive games, by the way. I wish that these were like maybe 10 games ago. Inter versus Atalanta. Inter minus 120 looks an unbelievable price, but it could also be a trap. Atalanta count defender plus 315. The under or over is set at 2.5, but the over 2.5 mina is at minus 135. Inter minus 130 to score twice. I've got this game Inter 2, Atalanta 1. Mm. Yeah, you never know which way this is going to go. It's very difficult to figure out the, the goals because last time they played, it was a 1-0 victory to Inter. The time before that, there were five goals with Inter again winning. In fact, if you look at over the last six games bet played between the two sides, uh, Atalanta haven't won once. So there's been three draws and three Inter victories right now. We know that Inter are king when it comes to Serie A, when it comes to Italian clubs. They lifted the Coppa Italia. Obviously, they missed out on the Scudetto because Napoli overall have been the best team. But right now, we're talking about the very present Inter for the last six weeks and right now are probably the best team in Serie A. You saw that in the Coppa Italia victory over Fiorentina last night. You'll probably see that again against Atalanta. Um, they will be able to have the likes of Onana back in goal um, and just uh, just be able to see them in full flow as they try to build up momentum to the Champions League final. Now, against Atalanta, it's always, you know, Atalanta love teams in which they can be the overwhelming force. They can be the combative sides that just comes in waves. But they just simply cannot do that against Inter because Inter are such a cunning club when it comes to um, cutting out their passages of play. And obviously, they're a lot more efficient up front. For me, I don't know whether I... I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if I would actually go with an over on unders in this. I do understand in the sense that I think both teams will score. Um, I, I can see that happening uh, because we can see Inter make... Uh, quite a few sometimes problems that they do have a few problems at the back and they were lucky that Fiorentina and the Coppa Italia didn't take more of those chances um, and that's where I think it's a little bit scary because Bastoni doesn't always keep his eye on the man that he's supposed to track um, there's always confusion at the back one thing I can be sure about Inter is that they score goals whether or not you want to go at team total um, over one and a half again it's minus 130 not sure which way to go with this one, in all honesty. Um, but I, I think over two and a half. Or do you think this is a 1-0 victory for Inter? You don't agree with me, do you? No, I think Inter win 2-1 because I wrote down here, Inter win, then rest, Nick. Because it's two weeks before the Champions League final. So I think that they get the job done. Champions League all sewn up and then they can then concentrate on their, uh, their achievement of getting to the final. I understand the reasoning and the numbers suggest that Inter should be favorites here. And I have no problem with the price tag being where it is. However, I'm going to make a case for Atalanta because Inter do not actually have to win this match. They could draw and that will be enough for them to qualify top four. Um, so I think, you know, that situation alone is, is setting up an Atalanta's favor. And I wonder how much of a, uh, I guess you call it a hangover or just maybe a little bit of more tired legs after, you know, playing, Wednesday night in the Copa Italia final. They won that. They got another chance at hardware, as you said. Flash in two weeks' time. All no challenge. They're, 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 they're only yeah. No. They're only their only goal uh, right now is to secure top four. They could do that with the draw. They could also lose this game and still be take care of it uh, next week as well. Although they, like you said, Flash, they prefer to do it this week and be able to, you know, do whatever the heck they want next week. Whether that's play some guys halftime just to keep them game fresh or or rest most people altogether. Well, yet to be seen. But I think there's a lot that would have to go wrong for them not to make top four at this point. I just don't see a lot of urgency on them. On the flip side, Atlanta actually now have been given a, a second wind to get top four, right? With Juventus falling down behind them, they could, if they win this match, yeah. uh, they have a very, very good chance to be in that top four. They would be sitting tied with Milan. Of course, Milan could you know win and score, get points on their own. But now they're within two points of inner. And it changes everything on that final match day. So this game is very, very big for Atalanta. Um, and I think that is coupled with the fact that Inter do not have to win to secure top four. Could play on our hands late in the game. You know, if it's Inter proved in both legs against AC Milan, they proved in the Copa Italia final last night that they are very good at seeing a game out when they want to, right? They grabbed a lead in all three of those situations and they just played that thing out. And I, I think, you know, in this situation, in this particular match, if it's tied late, they don't need to win. I think they could, would be content if it's 75th minute, just go, all right, let's secure our point. Let's move on. They're not going to push for a goal at that point. I don't think they would. They don't need to. 
Um, so I kind of like that scenario as well. Of course, if they're in the lead, it's going to be hard for Atalanta to break them down because they've proven very difficult in that situation. But I just think there's a lot of uh, value actually in Atalanta, double chance in this spot. And uh, I kind of like Atalanta to get at least a draw here. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they did come in here and snuck a win. But I think there's too much telling me Atalanta's going to get something out of this. It's a draw, yeah, isn't mean- it? No, it's not. No, it's not. Inter Milan are going to win this game because then they can rest up. At Atlanta, they've got the mighty Monza on the last game of That's the trouble. season. So that is trouble for them. <laughs> so I, I just see I just see both teams scoring an over. I see Inter winning and both teams scoring. I see Inter an over two and a half in case Inter run riot and go 3-0 because Atlanta can chuck the towel in, by the way. And if Atlanta get into the... Uh, if Atlanta just get into the uh, Europa League Thursday, Sunday, it might just suit them, you know, because they will be one of the stronger sides and it may be their route um, to have it a good cup run. You, you don't think that at all Inter's going to be a little bit tired and this is the time for Atlanta to exploit got their good squad, Mina, for... aren't they? We, we have mentioned that all the way through the season that the reason that probably I will go for Inter to win the league next season is because of the squad size when everyone else is struggling. Would you agree? Would you would you go for Inter to win the league next year? No. Really? Who would you go for? Depends on the price, always, but... Maybe Monza. <laughs> I knew you were going to say Monza. Monza. Yeah, um, I mean, what I, I saw think... from Inter in the second half of the season, especially late, it's pretty... They, they look good. I don't know. I mean, Inter, sh- it should be Inter. It should be. But they're it just a crazy be. side. That's already picked up, what, 11, 12 losses already? They're a very... I mean, they're called Pizza Inter. So it, it anyway. takes a lot for them to be that. So I, I wouldn't okay. take them. But... Well, it's nice to see Foxy's back in the chat. I know he had a couple of months off. Foxy, he's been travelling around, doing a bit of work, which is always nice. Uh, can someone tell me what uh, if there's any prices on Inter to win the Scudetto next season? So that's 2023, 24 season. Uh, because you might just uh, jump ahead there and get a great, great price. Let's have a little look at the official picks because we're all getting involved here. Uh, two like at- Atalanta, double chance, plus 100. Wow, been sucked in there, isn't you? Because Inter and over two and a half at plus 170 brings in my 2-1, also brings in my 3-0, 4-1 and 5-2. Just want to see a good game with Inter winning. 